So no, let's Lakers. Go to, you know what? Let's go to Kitty Caraway. Yeah. ESPN 1320. He's, oh. having a, he's having a rough morning. He's having a rough morning, man. Well, is, <laughs> that, did you they, see? They, they, they've saved the power up there and electricity off that beam lately. Well, I heard also that I, they're I trading know, everyone off that roster. <laughs> Hey, man, why y'all bringing up old stuff, man? You know it's a 49er Friday. I'm trying to recoup from the, this last week. This last week has been nasty. Hey, hey, hey nasty. Kitty. I don't like I, this. I stayed away from you, D'Lo, <laughs> Draper, and I've watched the games, and the group that has been popping, and I've been watching, and I was like the me with the guy at the funeral with the peacoat with the glasses on. I'm watching. <laughs> hey, hey, look, I be telling, I be telling the uh, you know the people that listen to the show or whatever. I like, look, man, don't talk to me after a bad loss. Don't tweet me. I'm not like some of these other media guys. I'll curse your ass out. <laughs> All right, I'll, this is what it is. I'm, I don't take the losses nicely. Okay, no, it's you don't. simple as that. <laughs> you don't. Hey, hey, Kitty. Hey, Kitty. We're not going to take the loss. If the Niners somehow, some way, get upset by the Green Bay Packers, which is probably not happening, I'm willing to bet no. the 401k on this game with the 49ers. I won't go that far because I don't want to jinx this, but I feel really good about tomorrow. But if they do somehow get upset, boy, boy them Twitter streets is going to come for us, buddy. They coming. Oh, you, you, already, you already know what it is. It's like, it's like Snoop at the Shorts Awards in 95. When he got on stage, he said, I know where we're at. Y'all ain't got love for Dr. Dre and Death Row in the West Coast. I know where y'all at. <laughs> and and, and this, it's the same thing. Raider fans, Eagles fans, I know what y'all about. You know, I know what's coming if the Niners lose. We're going to be it's, it's whatever. But like you said, Bonte, they're not losing. That's why I'm going to talk wherever. Because nobody, nobody would show you any mercy if you were humble and quiet and like, nope. oh, no. We're just, we're, they wouldn't show you no mercy. They wouldn't do that. You're so I'm going right. to talk crazy. <laughs> all right? And I'm going to talk crazy right now to Packers fans. They're about to smack the Packers up. Jordan Love, a good ball player. I like Jordan Love. Aaron Jones, he's a really good ball player. I've been liking him for a long time. Matt LaFleur. I think he's a hell of a coach. I think he's a hell of a coach. I'm about to smack them boys up. This ain't the Cowboys. All right, I said a long time ago, Cowboys, they get after the quarterback and do all this other stuff. But if you can protect, there's there's Swiss cheese all through that linebacking core in the secondary. And that's what happened on Sunday, okay? This ain't the Dallas Cowboys defense. You got Fred Warner Jr., Drake Greenlaw right there. You got Moody Ward in the secondary. You got my man Tashawn Gibson doing what he do. You got Jair Brown doing what he do. Plus, you still got to stand up to that defensive line. So just off that alone, it ain't happening. But we ain't even got to the offense. <laughs> we ain't even got to the offense. Who, how is how that defense going to stop? McCaffrey, Ayu, Debo, Jawan Jennings is back, and, and George Kittle. Mm. How? Somebody they don't have, have the personnel. They don't. And the brain of Kyle Shanahan and Brock Purdy. Thank you. Thank you. It's as simple as that. And everybody that comes in there, and, and look, it's football. Anything can happen. It's one game. It might be raining and all this other stuff. But everybody, everybody wishing upon a star, talking about, oh, yeah, turn the ball over a couple of times. Turn the ball. Yeah, that's that's the only hope. If they take care of the football, this is uh, this is a this is a three score game. If they take care of that's, the football, and I'm there just you saying go. What it is. Hey, what about what about these Raider fans? Okay, see. Why they why why they why they so salty, man? You know how they get down there this time. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't have yo know, back in ninety five when they came back to Northern California, you know, I got my connection to Bay. I'll be in the Bay all the time. I was happy. I was like, yo, the the Raiders coming back home, they back to Oakland and you know, I was showing love. But every time they got something crazy to say about these minor fans. And usually, like I said, we don't say nothing. But when they start when they start talking like Spadoni, we gotta spank them. Okay, we got to spank them. It's just Kenny, what you know it what it is. reminds me of? I don't know why they're hating on us, but we got to spank them every time they start talking. We Spinoni's, need to work. Spinoni's not happy right now. You know now. what it reminds me of, Casey? Like, your your girl uh, has some friends in her, in her little pack, right? You're in, and there's always that one friend that can never find a dude and just hates on everyone. That's what they remind me of at times. You know what I'm talking I about? I, I hear you. I don't know why they pray for our downfall. But I'm going to make sure that I drive my parade float right past each and every one of their houses after we win this Super Bowl. Matter of fact, matter of fact, we about to we about to put uh, we about to do like Rodney and Baby Boy. We about to come into your house, put our foot on your couch at Allegiant Stadium, and win that Super Bowl in your stadium. Matter of fact, they need to take a, they need to take a, a picture next to that little uh, the flame. 
That's why I want the team Ooh. photo to be. Take Ooh. a photo next to the flame. With, with, uh, <laughs> with the MGM trophy? In the background. That's what we about to do. <laughs> Kenny Caraway, ESPN 1320. I kind of like that here on the Boxer Girls and Guest Line. Hey, I kind of like that team photo in front of the flame. Can we throw a jersey on the flame? Can we just throw so hang up our nine jerseys? And, and look, and it, it didn't have to be like this, Montana Butch. You didn't have we wouldn't do we wasn't messing with the Raiders. No. It was all good. You guys do what you do. But then they want to talk. <laughs> so now we're gonna have to go take a, a, a team photo with the with the sixth Super Bowl right in front of the flame. <laughs> they see. started it. I do like that. Casey, I love you. <laughs> Score <laughs> prediction. I got I've got forty two to twenty. I wanted to do forty two to ten, but I'm gonna give them a couple of field goals late in this game. Forty two twenty is my score prediction. Uh, um I, I hear you. I'm in the same I'm in the same boat. Uh I'm gonna just play conservative because Kyle might run the clock out thirty seven seventeen. I like 37, that. 37, 17. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they I mean they're gonna handle this. Look, I, I know we're talking a lot of bravado and all this other stuff, but and, and once again, anything can happen in one game in football. Turnovers, all this. I, get, I I respect the game. I respect the game. But nobody, nobody that's coming in and saying watch out for the backers and all this other stuff can give a football reason why anybody shouldn't think the 49ers hey, should run through these you. guys. Totally. They're thank better you. on offense. They're way better on the defensive end. They have no answers whatsoever. So if we're talking football, th- th- you're just saying, well, maybe Jordan Love turns into. Uh, uh, if I'm Mahomes, like maybe, like that. That's it. That's it. We talking football. The Niners got them by a mile in every category. They mm. should handle business. Love that. ESPN 13, 20, 12 to four o'clock. Kitty Caraway, Damian Barley. They have a lot to talk about today. I know they're going to try to stay away from the Kings, but trust we're the same boat with our uh, basketball team. We're not in a hey, position we'll see, to talk we'll, right now. We'll see y'all next week. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, back hey, end hey, of a you know back what? end of a back you to back and coming to the right dental game. office. We got. We got to get right. We play the Warriors, man. We, we got to get right. Hey. Y'all to get right game now. You know, <laughs> hey, hey. get right game. Hey, back into the back to back after we play the Hawks, man. You coming down to the dental office? Deere Fox's favorite place to play. <laughs> he said it was his favorite place to play. He loves Chase. Deere, why you say that, bro? Stop, stop. Hey, dude, Deere, he knows stop. we got the best Novocaine. We got the best Felix. We take care of you hey. with the best toothbrushes. It's a, it's a nice. Quiet place to play. It is a nice, <laughs> quiet place to play. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Zach. I'm coming to go to one soon. I won't make my Pull presence up, felt man. up there. You come too, man. And, I, and, and I will. And I'll wear a T-shirt. Week, with, I'll wear a T-shirt with my face and a beam on it. All right. <laughs> they sound like hotcakes, bitch. They sound I heard. like hotcakes, man. <laughs> hey, it's not a gang this weekend, baby. We about to do this. Let's thing. do it, We man. on our way. Big bang, bang Niner gang. We're good hearing from you, Casey. Kitty Caraway, ESPN thirteen twenty. Here at the Boxer Gerson Guest Line. We got Jessica Birch coming up.